Hey, howdy and good morning. Quick question. When you roll up to a job, you got your tools, right? There's nothing worse than showing up and realizing you left your tools at home or somewhere else. So like these tools, what's missing? We got tools, we got some stuff. Maybe we're missing a pipe bender. Maybe we're missing your cordless drill, maybe a torpedo. I think you're missing this. This morning we're talking about you need to get the book into your life and stop thinking of it as a book, but think of it as a tool. Hold on, here we go. Back to you. So real quick, I just realized 8,000 over 8,000 subscribers. Wow. Thank you so much. Uh, click, like, subscribe. Uh, the reason why it's not because of my beautiful production value. <laughs> no. What it is, is I love the interaction. I spend time. I love taking time hearing your feedback, your questions. Uh, most of your questions, some of them aren't great. Uh, but 97.2% are fantastic. And I learn stuff. I love the give and take. I love people saying, hey, what about this? Anyways, I love that. So thank you. Keep that coming. We're going to keep growing the channel, but mostly not to have more subscribers, growing the channel in terms of connection with people, especially with young people coming up and getting them into the book, getting them uh, seeing the book as a tool. And that's what we're talking about this morning. Uh, our workshop, but also just the habit as an electrician, realizing that your code book is a tool. It's not something you should have under your floor mat, buried in your closet with your Mike Holt study tapes that you never use. Um, you need to be in this book frequently. Okay, so let's talk about this because this is something we talk about in the workshop. But hold on again, continue with me looking at this as a tool not as a foreign object that makes you uncomfortable because there's no pictures that's a thing so a couple of things real quick one is when you're looking at your jobs you're doing your stuff and you have a question right it's like man should we be using number four here or number two well instead of you know saying well i don't know let's google it or what did we use last time so the problem with that is you could have been wrong last time just didn't get caught Go to the book and you're going to go to, for instance, table 31016. That's in the code book. Oh, look at that. I have a tab. I love that. And I go to table 310 here. Look at this, Paul. Oh. Look, I've got notes. I've got some highlighting at the 100 degree, 100 amp, 100 amp thing. 100 amp rating here. We've got 60, 75, 90 degrees Celsius. That's a big question. So here's my point. A lot of you are like, dude, I just put in what's on the plans. I don't need the code book. The architect, the engineer, they've already flogged this. The people from city flogged it. It's good. I have seen those steps and ended up with the set of plans. I'm on a job site. Guess what? They're still wrong sometimes. You should know that. You're the electrician. Okay? You're not just a fancy IKEA assembler. You're an electrician. Between you and me, I don't want to offend any plumbers or you know framers out here. Electricians are prince of the trades, prince of, by a mile. We're divas for a reason. We'll let that go. So get your book. Get your book. When we, when we do the workshop, we're getting into the book. We're using it with real life scenarios to realize not only to say to pass a test, but so that you're not, again, not just an assembler. You're looking at it, okay? You're studying. And a lot of you are like, I don't have the time to do that. Yeah, you do. How many hours without lying between you and me and God, how many hours do you spend a day scrolling on social media? I bet you don't know because it's too scary. You can't handle the truth. It's probably four or five hours a day. Here's what I do, right? One is I do, uh, main thing is I'm looking at videos that have to do with electrical and I learn a lot and I get my code book. So for instance, I'm gonna list some and Paul will print these out or put them somewhere. Uh, on YouTube, I love YouTube, Electrician You. Get it out, get your book while he's talking. Backyard Maine, love that guy. I wish I could present like he does. 
freaking awesome. He's talking. Get out the code book. Um, electrical code coach. I get a practice test once every couple of days. This pops up. I take a test. I gets me into the book. Uh, Mike Holt. Same thing. I subscribe. I get a notification every now and again. It doesn't take long, but it keeps my brain in the code world all the time. I think the last one, oh, Electrician Ron. Love that guy. He's in New Jersey. Does great work, down to earth. He's doing videos of actually doing the work, not like me where I'm, you know, got my soft baby hands. He's actually doing the deal, right? Do that. It's worth it. If you're in this trade, now listen to me. If you're in this trade, stop being willing to just exist as an assembler and hoping you pick up bits and pieces from the older guys or listening and watching. Be deliberate. Whose feature is this? Whose finances are these? Right? Whose career is this? It's yours. Stop being passive. Get the book. Get the book. Whatever your next license is. In Texas, it might be the residential uh, appliance installer, the wireman's test. Get after it. Do you need the license? Legally, yes. Practically, probably not. But the point is you pursued something and you did something hard and you achieved it and now you're at the next level. So you take that kind of thinking and now you're capable, you realize, of doing anything. Don't be passive. So I, I love my young guys because I'll say, hey, why don't you do this and this? And I'll suggest it. Always encourage them to get their license. Our company, we give them extra PTO, you know, if they get their license going on. Still don't do it. Don't know what that's about. Anyways, but I hear excuses. Well, what if this and what if that's like, does it matter? Do the right thing. Say yes to your own future every day for a few minutes. It's not a lot, just a few minutes. So one of my favorite things are what if it's like, and I'll stop them. I'll say, well, what if frogs had wings? Would they still land on their butt when they jumped? Or another guy will say, well, I don't have time. Lives with his mom, not married. He's got time. And the same thing, what if this? And I'll say, what if... Uh, what if worms had machine guns? Would birds still try to eat them? The point is, it's the what if. Just start doing the right thing for you. It's not for your mom or your parents or anybody else. It's for you. You're building your future. When we're in this workshop, we're talking about the same things. We're hands-on. We're getting over the hump of where this is a strange, weird thing. And this starts to be as comfortable to you as using your needle nose, right? Right? Or your, your dice. I need to replace these. These are super dull. Anyways, so talking about these workshops, that's what we're doing. We're setting up a structure. And then we did a short, I think, a while back where we said, hey, if you're installing a spa circuit from this house to a pergola 50 feet away, how deep are we digging that trench? How big a pipe? What size wire do we need? What's my clearance that I need from the spa with my disconnect? Those are all code questions, but they're also real life questions. That's how you do work so you don't kill people. In Article 90, it says the purpose of the code and why you're alive and have a tool belt is to safeguard people from the hazards that arise from using electricity. Okay, so workshops are coming up. Next one's in early November. And I'm looking at my notes here behind Paul. Um, I'd really encourage you, if you don't have a code book and you're in this trade or one related, like you're in the pool industry and you're doing service, get a code book, get a few tabs, not a lot of tabs. These guys with four of tabs, I can't find anything. It's too many. Do that. Subscribe to some of these channels I talked about and just start getting into the book. If you're in Texas or you have the World Wide Web and you can do Zoom, contact me. We do these at least once a month. Like I said, November is the next one. And we get you hands-on. We get you over the hump of, again, the strangeness and weirdness of the book. It is kind of strange. And the language is not easy. Um, old people with blue hair, no, no disrespect. Yeah. The, the way that they talk in the code books, amazingly difficult. Reach out. Think about what I'm telling you. If you're in this trade... Ask yourself, why am I not being intentional about my own future? Why am I just going to work? Or what will be different for me in 10 years if I don't make any changes? You need to ask yourself that question. We'll see you at the next workshop. Click like and subscribe.